Welcome back Savages to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to clone the remote control for one of these NSA fans. Okay so the problem with this particular fan right now is with this remote control that comes with it it's no longer working. Now the problem is it's not the battery I've replaced the battery with a brand new fresh one it still won't work so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a hack on how to clone this remote control um, using a mobile phone and a device called a Broadlink. Let's go. Okay, so the piece of kit I'm using to clone the remote control is called a Broadlink, that one there. And they're relatively inexpensive and they basically just plug into anything USB to power them. You don't need to do anything else apart from that. Okay, so this is the original remote control for that NSA fan. Now the problem with that is I don't think there's anything wrong with the actual um, fan itself. It's more the remote control I think is broken. So we're going to get rid of that one and I luckily have another NSA fan kicking about as well. And this one works perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to control uh, the fan using these buttons uh, cloned onto a mobile phone. The next thing you want to do is download the Broadlink app which you can get from the App Store. Um, so we'll just open that. And this is what it looks like when it opens. I've already got some devices in there which I've already cloned, but we're going to add a new device. So what you need to do is click on RM Pro Pro Plus to open that screen. Once you go in there, we're going to click the button at the bottom that says Add Appliance. And basically you just pick which appliance you want to clone. So we're going to do a remote control for the fan. Click that. And then you just say Add Appliance. Click on OK. And if we go to can't find my brand learn the remote control right away at the bottom press that and it asks you is it going to be an IR remote or an RF remote well as you can see from the front of that that's got an infrared LED on it so we're going to pick IR remote control once we go down there we'll just say where do we want to do it let's just pick um, guest room for example click next call it fan save it so you just say I know it at the bottom to that one. So use device now. Click OK. And this is where you program all the buttons. So it's got some buttons already on there, but we're going to program them. So let's do the on off button first of all. So what you do is you press on and it says start learning. Now when you do start learning, what you have to do is point your remote control at the broad link and you only press the button once that corresponds to the button you want to clone. So let's do this. Start learning. Press the button once, and there you go. So that it says receive remote control signal. Click that button again to see if it has worked successfully. And do that. And you can probably hear it beep in the background, and we'll just turn around there and see if the fan's working. So the moment of truth. We've got the fan in the corner switched off. We've got the mobile phone with the Broadlink app installed. Got the on button programmed. Let's give it a try. And there we go. Success. So you can do exactly the same with all the other buttons as well and get them all programmed in. So you can control the speed, the oscillation uh, and the type of mode. If it's got one of them modes where it kind of increases and decreases um, the speed on a pattern. So you can program as many program uh, buttons as you want into that. And there you go guys. And the beauty of this is that it's got a longer range than the original NSA remote control. For those of you who have got NSA fans, you know that the actual range of the original remote control is only about a metre, which is pretty useless. Well, if you use a broad link, it's got a much uh, longer range, so you can control it from all the way across the, uh, the phone. So, I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, like, and I'll see you on the next one.